An advisory committee is um, a group of stakeholders that help guide um, a career technical education pathway. Usually they are made up of different stakeholders within your industry. Those advisory members can marry themselves with your pathway and where they can insert their specific skills so that your students are ready for the workforce after graduation. The advisory committee members should be uh, major stakeholders, so it should be at the very least the CTE teachers that are teaching CTE courses within that pathway. Um, it also should be at least two or three business partners, administration at the school and possibly at the district. Um, it's always good to try and get somebody from a university or a post-secondary institution. We also sometimes try to get students in there maybe even alumni of the pathway because that way you can get different perspectives. A lot of times they can tell you, well, I wish I had that. And that's really, really valuable having a student that actually went through your program. To start an advisory committee can be challenging and a really daunting task. So the best way to start um, an advisory committee is really to look at your curriculum and to kind of see what resources are available at your fingertips. And a lot of it really starts with cold calls and to, bin to businesses or to local universities. We've always found it very really beneficial to um, target the nonprofits because a lot of times, or government agencies, because they will have a educational component built within their program. It may be surprising to educators that businesses really do want to reach out because they do want to have a hand in you know, who they hire and what kind of skills are coming to their workforce, but they don't know where to look. Advisory board um, agendas are really important because they help guide the conversation so that everybody who is on the committee has donated their time to be there. You want to make sure that they all have a voice and have some sort of contribution. Important agenda items that should always come up every meeting is definitely the labor market trends to see where your particular industry stands and if curriculum needs to be modified in certain areas that the school is keeping up with the labor market trends and to see that the skills are really truly going to be helpful for that child once they do graduate. It's important to also keep everything up to date. So new business and old business, um, it's always nice to have students maybe report out on projects that they have done throughout the year. Sometimes a tour of um, or a video of what goes on can be helpful to connect the classroom with the advisory committee. Agenda items and things that have to be covered, uh, sometimes that can be a struggle to get it in, into an hour meeting. And so we assign different topics. And since we are a career academy, we also have academic teachers that are involved. And so what ends up happening is, is that an academic teacher and maybe a student will pair with a business partner and they will address a problem or a topic. And then at the end, we'll do kind of like a whip around and it just builds upon that that rich conversation that needs to come out of an advisory meeting, and it doesn't take two hours. Mentoring is a, is a component that a lot of academies have within their program structure, and so what ends up happening is, is that the people sitting around your advisory board are great tools to be used and to go and find other mentors and really engage in that network of um, contacts. Uh, we've gotten so many mentors, great mentors that come back year after year and volunteer their time to mentor our students. 